Talking of Lewis Carroll and money problems, one of the puzzles of L Lewis Carroll is I, 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 I've always liked this one. Um, a customer goes into a shop and he wants to buy goods to the amount of seven shillings and threepence. So again, we're still using pre-decimal coinage. Unfortunately, the only money he had was a half sovereign, that's ten shillings, a florin, two shillings, and a sixpence. So he wanted change, but unfortunately the shopman, the shopkeeper, only had a crown, that's five shillings, a shilling, and a penny. And so didn't have the right coinage to give, to give um, change. But fortunately a friend happened to come in who had with him a double florin, a half crown, a fourpenny bit, and a threepenny bit. Could they manage it? Um, uh, incidentally, we, we can date this, this, this puzzle because according to David Singmaster, who is probably the world expert on recreational mathematics, um, the double florin, uh, or four shillings, uh, came in around 1888, uh, possibly as a way of trying to encourage us to use a decimal coinage, um, and, uh, and it, but it died in, in 1892, so we, we think the problem dates from around then. So how do they go about this problem? Initially, uh, we start off with the customer, the shopkeeper, and, and the friend. They have this amount, and this is the amount they have. And at the end of the day, uh, what they do is they pool all these, co all these coins together, and then they manage to rearrange them. So at the end of the day, the customer has five shillings and threepence. In other words, has paid seven and threepence, as he's required to. The shopkeeper has seven and threepence more than before and the friend goes away uh, with the seven and a penny that, 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 that he had. Okay? So again, this is a, I think it's a, a, a rather nicely constructed uh, puzzle, this. 